What's up my YouTube dudes? Have you ever had this message on your screen for a Chevy? AC off due to high engine temp. This vehicle is completely cooled off. And I put the scanner on it and it said 240 some degrees on the live data. So I know that's wrong. So I know I, I unplugged this sensor down here on the water outlet right here. So we can see it better. There we go. It clips into the water outlet on the driver's side. And all of a sudden the engine coolant temperature went down to negative 40. So I know I got the right sensor that's bad. You can get one of these water outlets for like 25, 30 bucks at Napa I just saw. So if you don't have a fancy scanner like me, I've got one of these bad boys. You can, I also got a backup travel scanner right here. You can get them at Harbor Freight or wherever, real cheap. I think they're down to like 20, 30 bucks for the cheap ones. Just one with live data. It'll show just the minimum for live data, but coolant temperature is gonna be one of them. And you can test to see whether the sensor is. All right, my video got interrupted there, but you can test whether the sensor is bad or if you're actually overheating. So by unplugging that sensor there, it dropped down to negative 40 degrees. So I know the sensor is reading wrong because it didn't seem like the engine was hot. Anyways, you can kind of feel the radiator hoses carefully. But what I did to get to this point is you got this intake tube that's in your way. Pop the sensor off of it, kind of slide it out of the way carefully. And then take your radiator hose and this heater hose off here. You got a clip right here that comes out. Then you can take that out. That's the return to the reservoir. And you've got a heater hose in the back that pops off. And that gets you down to the water outlet with sensor. So I got one on the way. It was like 26 bucks. Comes with the new seals and sensor. Very cheap. You've got to have a special socket to do these. Let me pause there and show you the socket. All right, I got my flashlight on, so this video will be better now. Here's your socket. It's an inverted Torx bit. This one is a, what size we got here? I don't know, I can't even see. E10, E10 Torx. I've got two of them loose. Bolt here, bolt here. There's one down there, a little trickier to get to, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that off now and our water outlet should come off. Before you start this job, make sure you got your coolant bucket ready. Got that third bolt loose and it should just come right off of here. We're gonna lose some coolant. Try to pull it off slowly if you don't want it to waterfall down there. I don't give a crap though. What we're gonna do is clean up the surface of the head down here. Just get it nice and clean. Wire brush, gasket remover tool, whatever you gotta do. This is where it was leaking. Right there, you can tell on the bottom there. And the sensor is right there. That sensor is bad. It's always reading high. 240 some degrees, always. You can see it's pretty crusty. It had a slow leak where it was dripping on the bell housing. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up that head. When the new part comes in, just gonna make sure you got a seal for it. Should come with a seal. Should be able to bolt it right back on, put your hoses back on, put your electrical connectors back on, put your air intake back on. Be careful with that. So I'm bending it about as much as I want to. It connects way down there. But just swing it out to the side, you should have plenty of room to do this job. Pretty simple. When you get the message on the dash, it will not go away until you reset it with a scan tool. 
I've seen these codes come on just one time, reset it, never came back again. But a lot of times they will come back for whatever issue is at hand. Just letting you know that you cannot clear that and it'll go into sort of a limp mode sometimes. Like you won't have as much power as you usually do. So if it doesn't seem to be overheating, doesn't seem to be getting too hot you could try clearing the code and maybe it won't come back but usually you have an issue all right we got our head nice and clean that's an aluminum head so use aluminum or brass wire brush not a steel wire brush you don't want to gouge it I used a gasket remover tool works great so when you're torquing the new one back on you got these metal sleeves around the bolts, so it's hard to crack the plastic. You want to torque them down good, but just not extremely hard that you actually do crack the plastic. Now, other things that can set this coat off is your radiator fan is not kicking on and it's getting hot while you're idling in town, stoplights. Thermostat down underneath there, follow the radiator hose. That thermostat could be stuck closed doesn't happen very often, but can. You could have a blown blown or warped head, making it overheat. You know, the typical overheating issues that can set this code. But in this case, it was a bad sensor. If you, could, if you disconnect it, it'll drop down to negative 40 degrees. If you connect the two prongs, it'll go to maximum temperature. That's how it works, and this temperature sensor is stuck at over 240 degrees. So that was the problem. It's a lot easier to figure out if you have a scan tool. But we're going to throw everything back together, top off the coolant. So whenever you're taking one of these water outlets out, make sure your engine is cool before you start. If you like this video, drop a like. I'd appreciate a sub. If you like no-nonsense, straight-to-a-car videos.